Hi guys, it's another day, Monday. So let's do another review of the food this morning. I saw my wife preparing for me the nasi pecel lele. Okay, so what is nasi pecel lele? Let me show you one by one. Okay, show you one by one. This is the soup. Okay, the normal soup. It's a conventional soup, nothing inside there. Yes. There you are, chicken stocks. Chicken stock soup. Now, this is the star of the show. So, you have um, fried tofu here, fried catfish, a whole, okay, a half here and half there, and you have uh, parsley. You have uh, long beans, you have cucumber. So that is the basic of a pachalele. This is why it is called pachalele. And the side of that, happy plain white rice. There you are. It looks a little bit brownish because I'm using brown rice now. I'm trying to take care of my health and to sum it all up sambal okay it's not the sambal to miss it's a special sambal uh, that uh, you use to make the uh, nasi ayam penye and as well as nasi is nasi pecel lele so i'm going to use my hand to eat this i hope you will enjoy your own lunch so that's it simple but yet tasty okay enjoy your lunch take care i'll see you later back to work now i'm uh, extending this power supply cable and i need to do some casing to protect it so i'm gonna share with you how to install the pvc casing first we cut it into the length that we need cut a notch bend over and cut the whole thing and now since these cables need to go through this casing I need to make a hole down here where the cables gonna bend and go through it and also the top of it at the same time this casing is gonna cover that ugly hole that I drilled through the wall I just make the marking and cut two slots actually one slot but I need two cuts left and right bend it like so yeah, you see that? That is where the cable is going to protrude through. I'm just going to put it right there and nail it. And now we come to the horizontal installation. It's gonna come right under there. Now to hammer the casing onto the wall while holding my left hand holding the casing and the nail at the same time is going to be troublesome. So what I always do is I just use these long nose pliers. Then I just hammer it just enough for it to stick onto the casing, I mean the nail, like so. Okay. At both ends. And also the middle. You 
see when the nail is on the casing already so it's going to be just easy just put the whole thing where you want it to be okay, just make sure that the casing is straight and then lock it in lock the nails in This one is done, so next down there we need to use this leather. It, uh, it's a good practice to cover your the top of your leather with a kind of a cloth, unused cloth, so that the leather will not make a mark and ugly marking on the walls and make sure that you have the safe angle of the leather where you put it on the wall for safety reason and the cloth that you put on the leather it also acts as a place where you can put on your, all of your tools and equipment Don't forget to make a slot where the cable is going to come through before you put on the next casing okay you want to make sure that the connection uh, the installation is tidy and the cables can go through all of the casings uh, you know comfortably without hurting it now what places where it's a bit strange where you have this like this uh, stairs going down so you have to use your imagination to put on this ladder on how you want to secure it before you climb it and do your thing okay safety first once you have done with the first part of the casing which you nail onto the walls it's time to cover it up with the other part of the casing the top part as usual make your measurement okay turn the casing upside down so that you can uh, comfortably know where you're gonna mark don't waste your time using any marker pens so you just use your cutter and make the first cut where it's supposed to be and I'm going to teach you this is how you make the ends of a casing okay first you mark two cuts both on the left and right and next to that cut you make a square cut you make a square and you cut it okay so now you can you will end up with like so four cuts and totally cut off like so finish up the square okay the other part too Now for this part, you just use your fingers, bend it in, bend it inwards and there you are. You got yourself the ends. Make sure it's straight, tidy it up before you put it on. Now don't forget the places, the points where the cable is going to go through right there and make your cut
once you're ready just snap it in just press it in until it clicks see now we're gonna do the long part right here if you have a quite a difficult place like this so what you do is you just uh, put in the ends the beginning of the casing and slide it in okay slide it right until the point and once you have put in the cables or wires into this casing you just press it in bit by bit bit by bit until you reach the end that's done on to the next part points where you need it to bend so that's the cover let me show you how to cut the corners on the cover of the casing first you do your mark where you want it to bend degree on both sides of that cut on this side of the railing of the casing and also the other side now when you bend it see it covers the whole thing beautifully now we need to do another end so, do your marking and do whatever we did last time remember connections needed until I reach the end and on the second part I'm going to show you how to install this integrated security system see you next time cheerio